to go and feed the guys. Nobody did it right. I had to show them how to grind. I had to beat. It doesn't do it just to on how foggy it is out here, but let's just put some scary music and do something with the fog. Cue it. What's up you guys? I hope you guys enjoyed that little thing I did in the beginning of the video. I just wanted to edit something uh, and kind of make it look cool and when I was going to work it was foggy for like four days like that and I'm like you know you can make something cool whatever but the point of this video was I was going to talk about skate rails and the differences between them and which ones I like to skate which ones are harder to skate and maybe which ones you should learn on and I'm holding my phone I left my tripod in the car and I just don't feel like going to get it but I could try to use something here there we go um yeah you're, it's not as high up I don't have my tripod I'm using my shoe but I was talking about skate rails and the different types of them is what I was gonna do but the different types of skate rails I was gonna do was I was gonna talk about ledges uh, square and round rails and kinked rails and first I'll talk about ledges and that could be like a skate box, um, a curb, something square, rectangle, you know, like that uh, is a ledge. Um, you can do tricks off of them, but I'm talking about grinding ledges on this one. Um, I like skating ledges for the fact it's easier to learn like 50 50s and five o's and nose grinds and stuff you have a lot more to work with than you do like a square or a round rail for example you can get your truck more on the ledge when you're learning 50 50s and different tricks like that you can learn tail slides better because you don't got to worry about you got to worry about slipping off, not getting on all the way, just like a normal rail, but you ain't got to worry about going the other way on it because if you land, you can only, your trucks can only go so far at the bottom of the ledge and same with a nose grind. So that, that's what I like about ledges is learning, which I'll have an image of a ledge here, but that's what I like about ledges is learning tricks on. They're easier to learn on and you can board slide a ledge, but I'd recommend learning board slides on a round rail or a square rail. Um, but I personally like skating ledges for that reason of the learning aspect. And I think if you're in the you can find rails if you're in the streets and stuff but you can find a lot more ledges or curbs like that um, especially if you don't have a skate box or something and you want to and you have like a curb that looks like a ledge you can learn on and stuff like that which I can talk about making a ledge skatable in another video which I'm I have that idea but now I'm gonna break it down and talk about square rails or round rails those uh, you can learn to 50 50 on those and learn Smiths and feebles and stuff just like I said you could on a ledge but it's a lot harder 
to learn how to 50-50 and stuff on a square rail than a ledge because you have that uh you can you can slip out on a ledge don't get me wrong you can miss and slip on over i've done it your wheels you don't lock in on your trucks you just hit your wheels and you slide right over but you have a less likely chance of doing that on a ledge than you do a square rail um because you got just a skinnier surface that your truck's got to hit and you got to lock in on and ride it which i guess it could be a comfort thing too if you're skating a ledge and you're skating a square rail ledge just looks like you have more room so you could be more comfortable trying it on there than a square rail and still when i 50 50 square rails i still have a fear sometimes of oh i know i can slip out more you know i that gets in my head but square rails are easier to learn like board slides and lip slides on uh than a ledge because you got your wheels on the top of the ledge on a board slide and on a square rail you don't it's just just board on tv remote but board on the square rail and round rails that that's square rails uh you got more fear but I have, I'll have a picture of a square rail too and then round rails are pretty much like skating a square rail you can still do all the same tricks uh 50 50s smiths feebles um you can tail a nose slide on a round rail and a square rail like i mentioned on a ledge um then you can do you could learn like blunt slides and stuff on you can do them on ledges you, you can learn them on square rails or round rails too those you can do all the tricks but round rails personally i have more trouble 50 50 in a round rail than i do a square rail and out of all three choices I would choose to 50-50 a ledge or a square rail over a round rail. But I'm putting the round rail and the square rail in the same category. Uh, ledges, round rail, and square rail. And then now I'm going to talk about kinked rails. Uh, You'll find a lot of handrails that will be kinked, whether it's just flat down flat, or you have like four kinks in it to where it goes flat down, flat down, flat down. And you can 50-50 and stuff all those. It's a little awkward to learn how to skate those because if you can sk skate like a flat rail, you'll get on but then you don't want to lean too far forward once you're going down the kink and then hitting it because then you'll either fly forward or you'll go down and hit that and your balance will be off uh you'll be off balance and you'll slide back or all those bad things and also if you're going down you don't want to lean too far back because then you'll slip back and I've done that. I've hit my tailbone on a rail and it's not fun at all. But me, I don't like skating kink rails. I mean, I will, if there's one around, I might try to skate it and stuff, but I'd rather go for the square and round rail or a ledge. Uh, that's just my personal opinion of it. But yeah, this video I was talking about just different rails because uh, I know some people will probably know the differences and stuff but that's kind of my personal opinion of the ledge the square round rail and the kinked rail kinked handrail but 
yeah, I just want to break it down. I've actually had some uh, requests on this type of video, so thanks for the video idea. Because I thought about like just talking about each rail, but then I was like, I'll do, I'll do it in just a bit, big video. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. We're at like 1.2 thousand something subscribers. We're on the grind to 2K. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Dream big, live bigger, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. This ain't no, you can compare me. I don't belong in the box. Don't try to play me. No, I'm not friendly. This is everything I got.